All right. It's time for a quick and dirty uh, new uh, tutorial on Magic G Golem featuring the Charmers. This is going to be a little bit different from last time, last video I did on those. Uh, and this time I'm going to have a deck list. I'm going to put it in the comments. Uh, no, I'm going to put it in the description, actually. Uh, so you can, you know, try it on by, on yourself. By yourself. Uh, and even, like, you know, mess around with it, mess around with the ratios uh, and all that. Let's, uh, without further ado, get into the combo itself. So, uh, what you really need is two things. You need either Diviner or Manju. And you need either Magical World, Battles Buster, Adventure Arts. Yeah. Uh, you could do with other things. Uh, I have one High Ritual Art. So, if you have High Ritual Art in Magical World, you can kind of work with this. Uh, if you have, like, Magic Guild World itself can be either the searcher for the ritual monster or for a normal monster, so High Ritual Art is very good for that. And we have Reload and Magical Mallet in the deck, so we can shuffle. Uh, so, for example, here, what we could do is we could set this and we could Normal Summon Diviner and use the effect and then Chain Reload to the effect. Because these two cards don't need to be in our hand. That, that we can absolutely afford to shuffle and see what we get. So we got another Magic Evolve. That's fine. We already have one. So since we have Magic Evolve, uh, obviously we can search Beatles Buster with Magic Evolve. So we're getting Advanced Ritual Art. Like so. And then we get Beatles Buster. So, now, we can go ahead and uh, use Leotron. Usually I would use two Crown by the World Chalice, but if you want to be safe, uh, you can always just use uh, Leotron. I like to thin out the deck even more by using two Crown by the World Chalice, because that means your deck is like even more thinner. Uh, we're like on, what, 45 cards? So like it's a... Fairly thin. Okay, it's a little bit more than 45. It's like, yeah, it's some, something like that. We'll, we'll look afterwards. Uh, so, Beatles Buster searches for Mathiel. Now, Magic World will get to get Mathia, and we could shuffle back Crown by the War Chalice here. Uh, we all we have one in deck. If you're deciding to only play one of her, uh, you can shuffle her back now. Uh, but in our case, because I want to demonstrate something, uh, I'm going to shuffle back Magic e World. Now we're going to activate Mathiel and normal summon him, so that we can special summon Neutron. Now uh, we're going to do something. Uh, a little bit different than usual. Uh, we're going to link off into Cross Sheep immediately. These two. Uh, mostly because uh, Diviner with the levels and because we're not using Synchros at all in this. Uh, we, don't, we just don't really care about Diviner. But since he's uh, level 6, we can't really go into Xyz with him. So that's why we want to use Cross Sheep, so that even if we open Diviner, we can actually still do the combo. Uh, but the same goes with Manju, so... It's just how I crafted the entire deck, so that you can do this regardless. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to use Math Tia to uh, fuse Math Tia and Ib from the deck. Uh, I mean, crowned by the World Chalice, but, you know, you know what I mean. To get Angela Bolus onto the Cross Sheep, this lets us do Cross Sheep effect and then Chain Block with Maftiel. There we go. Add Maftiel. And then we get to add to Special Summon, 
And here we want a special summon Ib. Now we have a spellcaster and an earth monster. So what we can do is special summon this guy. Nefariouser Archfiend. I think that's what yeah, Nefariouser Archfiend. And use its effect to special summon back the Leotron. So uh, one reason we do this, other than because it's funny, uh, is because when we link him off, we do get a card out of it, and we're going to do that immediately into Stubborn, stubborn Meneer, because that's two Earth monsters to make this guy. And then we get to add a card, and we're going to add Unpossessed, because it is a possessed card. Uh, this is going to give us some floating ability if uh, if our board like th this is just an extra little screw you moment for the opponent uh, because it's decent ish honestly then we're going to special summon mirror maker using these two in defense position we're going to use the effect to send captain sargas and we're going to activate Sargas Engrave to attach to Merrymaker. This is important. You need to do that because we're going to need it later. Then we special summon in defense position Champion Sargas. Now you might ask, well, 1,500. That's not a lot of defense. Uh, but remember, we're on G Golems. Uh, he's he's still here. Don't worry, his time will come. Tallyho Springins. We're going to activate it, and then detach three materials. This, this, and this. These three. Uh, you can keep the Anshela Bullis underneath him. That's why we attach Sargas, so we get to keep a material on Captain Sargas, which is very important. We're going to add Branga. And then we're going to special summon all three. Uh, special summon Brenga. Special summon Captain Sargas in defense here. Important to do these. Put put them here. Put them here. That's important because uh, we need to like free up the areas here. I guess you could also put them here if you wanted to be fancy. Uh, but I'd rather not. I, I like I like it placed here. As long as, as long as you keep this zone free, is what matters. This zone here. Uh, now we're going to activate Sargas's effect. Uh, because we don't have to destroy, so we can just return Magic -E World to hand. And just like that, we've set up for the next turn. Uh, now we can make IP Mask Arena using these two. And now she's a Cybers, so we can go ahead and make the Heart, Crystal Heart. And use its effect to special summon back the Meneer. And then the Meneer gets to special summon an Earth Monster, and since we don't need to use the Awakening of the Possessed anymore, we can afford to just banish it. Uh, so let's do that, right? So it's as simple as uh, make the guy banish it when it leaves the field. You see, it goes here. Just like that. And we got the guy. Now if we had another Leotron in the hand, we could, uh, we could simply discard and draw a card, which would be nice. Uh, we have gravity balance in the deck, so that's also an option for like extra follow-up. But as far as the the board is uh, this is what we're at uh, might as well afterwards use Brenga's effect to add kit this gives up this this has the purpose of giving us tribute fodder so essentially right we haven't touched this one either so it could be a blank card it could be a, a, another copy of Manju or another copy of Diviner it could be anything uh, and we don't really care that much because at the end of the day for the next turn we have magic world 
to search for Beto's Buster. We have Maftia to tribute Kit for Beto's Buster, which lets us get the second Maftia and lets us special summon another monster. So even if our board was completely cleared, uh, we can make another Crystal Heart using uh, Pentastag and uh, Leotron. Uh, I'll show it off if, uh, if the opponent, if, if, the, if this bot has a good hand, I'll show it off. Also, we have uh, two pops, uh, one pop and one bounce. And also, I might as well activate this. Might as well activate this. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Uh, by the way, uh, these two are unaffected by monster effects. And uh, this guy needs to attack a tribute for this guy. So I'll get up to two cards and destroy. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show it off, but like what you could do, right, is you could use uh, you could use Sargas's effect to pop your own dolmen, and uh, this would negate so if the, if the opponent say has a bunch of like continuous effects, like a field spell you want to stop or something like that. Or just like a monster on the field that you wanna you wanna stop before they get to activate its effect, uh, you can quick effect detach from Sargas to pop the dolmen itself, and in doing so, uh, sure you do get to like you you have to do this with consideration, right? You can't if the opponent can OTK you anyway, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, but if you if you do it right. Uh, and you do get a face. Uh, you do get a defense position monster that from the deck that can't be destroyed by battle. So there's that uh, to think about. But if you if you can pull it right, then you bought yourself a turn and you negated the entire face up opponent's board, uh, which is great. If they can't out the crystal heart, you get to do it like just raw. But like even if you even if they out the, the crystal heart you can just uh you can just go magic -y world into kit and you know as i said uh in this case we won't do the effect though because there's no point and also uh he's going to be forced to attack anyway we get to draw two cards and activate this so i mean uh in this case uh this is a light so we're gonna just uh do that all right. Just like that, they're gonna ride a key break to target our guy. Uh, well, in doing so, they've both triggered our uh, thing again. Which is a summon dark. And um, we drew we drew both charmers. That is extremely funny that we have two more charmers that we just drew like that. Well, uh, now let's pretend like the heart wasn't, it isn't like a thing, right? Actually, link to this card. Hmm. But like we could, we could here just magic -y world, right? Uh, and add Beto's Buster, and then you know do the entire thing where we do. Uh, this uh, to tribute ritual summon uh, using the kit. That's that's what it's there for. Let's pretend the rest of the hand doesn't exist, like these three cards we just drew. That gets us Maftio, and then like we get two Pantastag here, right? So we activate the effect. Normal summon this. Activate the effect. Uh, and they'd get uh, Leotron, like that. And essentially, right, we get, uh, we get, we can, we can make Pantastag. And we can make Pantastag here. And then, uh, we, we have like, 
you know, we could have we could have made summon back the golem, but I I had to show off that you can make pentastag, and then with these two you can make the crystal heart. See, you can make the crystal heart, and then oh yeah, let's let's do this then. Let's do it that way then. Activate the effect, bring out the big guy, Dolman. He can attack twice. We get to even steal their guy now. He's negated, uh, doesn't matter. We have uh, a lot, like I mean a lot. We could go, we could go like Avramax here. We could go Celine. Oh yeah, here's another play we can do. We can do this, two is two materials, right? Like this. Oh. Yeah, we stole the guy. <laughs> right. Uh, that's fine. That's just for the sake of showing it off. Just for the sake of showing it off, we can do this, right? And we can special summon back. I we, we can summon back uh, Crown here. And we have Link Spider. So we can go Link Spider. And then we can uh, make Avermax. Like that. Uh, and then uh, we still have not normal summon. So if we want it to be extra spicy, we can like add extra like defense here. Uh, but honestly, at this point, we, we are just set to win. So let's just go for it. Uh, attack with Avermax. Attack with this twice. Uh, we're not quite enough to kill. That's uh, should have normal summon Manju. Uh, you get the idea, I, right? You get you get the idea. Now I'll show the deck list real quick. So you can see what we have to deal with. Hit a deck. So this is 45 cards. I was I was on the money. So 45 cards. You've seen pretty much most of it. Most of the bricks actually since we drew like <laughs> we can't believe we drew like both wind and, and hita. Win and win and hita. Uh, so three Manju, three Diviner, two Clavicus, three Leotron, two Crown Battle World Chalice, and then we have the three mallets. Uh, we have two Maftia, Maftia, three Maf, two Maftia, because we really want to, uh, for the simple fact that uh, if we have Magic World, and we only and we have Maftia in hand, we can't shuffle back a Garnet uh, to to get another Maftia. So if uh, one hard garnet that I could see if we have both Sargas and Branga in hand in the starting hand you want to shuffle at least one away with Magic World uh, what's another garnet I think that's pretty much it for the garnets I mean any of the any of the charmers are like sort of hard garnets as well so you want them shuffled back in the deck so you can special summon them for free once per turn. Uh, as for the extra deck, uh, two Ancilla Bolas because uh, sometimes it, it it might actually be relevant to just go for Ancilla Bolas. It has a cool effect that kind of can be relevant uh, to change a position, an attack position monster your opponent controls to defense and reduce its defense. That could be relevant because um, Dolmen. Dolmen is a monster that has um, a good amount of. Uh, he has piercing damage, right? He gets he gets piercing battle damage because of um, this card. Yeah, piercing battle damage, so you can get extra damage out of it that way. If you get the right cards, it's not always going to be relevant, but it is sometimes going to be. 
Also, you can use it to preemptively send two Leotrons to Grave immediately. Uh, because uh, if you draw, if you have Gravity Balance in your opening hand, you can just uh, do that. Right? You can you can save it for like if you get interrupted interrupted at any at any point you can go ahead and just do the jiggle and play and pass your turn on that, which which is still pretty good. Uh, and then yeah, that that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I'll give a deck a deck code in the description, uh, and I will uh, be awaiting feedback, of course. Please comment and video and see uh, and also like and subscribe. Uh, that would be nice. I also have a stream. You know, if you want to drop by, you can do that. All right.